tomorrow, eh? Well, I hope it all goes well. So you'll be pushing the boat out tonight? No, no, I'm not going to bother. No posh do somewhere nice? Alan's having his stag with the Excelsior, right? Mm. And I'm actually willing to forego getting plastered, being chained to railings and covered in condoms. Don't know why. Fiona. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> so she's doing the right thing. Fiona. Oh, yes, it's tomorrow, isn't it? Yes, you'll be next. Uh, it's funny you should say that. Hey, now, <laughs> don't you tell me. No, no. John and me have decided to buy a house. Well, that's wonderful. Oh, I'm so pleased for you, Deirdre. Didsbury, we're hoping. Actually, we've already seen the one we like. Oh. And, well, we've put in an offer and it's been accepted. So when are you going to be moving in? Well, it's not that simple, unfortunately, because the people who are selling it to us have hit a snag. Oh. So officially, we're still looking. But obviously, we're hoping they'll get it sorted out. Oh, so do I. Yeah. It's a worrying time. Enjoy your dinner. Oh, I hope it all goes through. How did you know about that? Yeah, Bumped into Chris. He seems to have a good time. Hello. Lorraine, Natalie's niece. Got a large house on fire. Uh, just my car, yes. mate, please. Oh, thanks, sir. What's this? Bacon, egg, sausage and beans. Can't have you going off to work on an empty stomach, can we? Fine, Liz. Look, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but uh, I couldn't eat this even if I had the time, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, come on, leave it there. No, you couldn't. We haven't got the time, Steve. Come on, we've got to be at the suppliers. Oh, come on. What's five minutes? Sit down. You deserve a good start. Liz, we don't have the time, all right? What's the rush? Suppliers are open all day, aren't they? OK, I'll tell you what. You have your breakfast. I'll get the stuff from the suppliers on my own. See you later. What did I do wrong? Nothing, nothing. He's, he's been like that with me all week. Right. Right, do you want some toast with that? Mm, yeah, thanks, man. What's up with him, then? Cold feet? Yeah, I reckon. And if Fiona's having any second thoughts right now. Well, she was, mate. So how are you holding up? Funny how they go together. You're like... One day it's a funeral and next day it's a wedding. <laughs> I'd rather be at a wedding than a funeral. Yeah, especially when it's your own. <laughs> 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 oh, I shouldn't be making jokes, should I? With poor old Billy Williams, hardly cold. <laughs> so, are you having a rave up tonight then? No, she doesn't want one. You don't want one? No, I don't. Well, it might be the last chance you'll have to have a good time. Barry, if I thought that, I wouldn't be getting married, would I? Mind, Alan's having a stag night. Yeah, well, it's a really blokey thing to do, isn't it? You know what coppers are like. Well, I think you're making a mistake. A good end night, something to remember when times start getting low. Times aren't going to get low. I'm not going to let them. Well, I hope you're right, love. It's nice to be fond of summer when you've never tried it. Look, are you trying to put me off here or what? No, I like marriage, me. Except the odd night, you know, when you have to fulfil your obligations. <laughs> I thought that was the whole point of getting married, though. Well, uh, if it is, they're in for a bit of disappointment. Now, the only benefit in marrying a man is to have complete power over him. <laughs> <laughs> is that so? A woman always has the key to an happy marriage. It's just knowing when to put the key in the lock and when to turn it. <laughs> Here you go. Hi. Hi. Hey, Alf. Ooh, you're keeping the weight off. Oh, do you think so? Mmm, very fetching. Well, I've been trying, you know, girl. Yeah, very trying, you know, girl. Mind you, he has terrific support from his doting wife, haven't you, love? The only men do not like Billy Williams. Oh, she's cheerful, isn't she? You know, she has the same effect on conversation as the dead man's handle on the oh. train. <laughs> Well, we don't want you getting ideas above your station. Anyway, oh. listen, you've only lost a few pounds. You've not turned into Robert Redd. Oh. See? Oh, I had your arms done up. That's what I'm paying. Yes, you're paying. I paid yesterday. I paid yesterday. So pay again today, OK? You've had enough off me through your lifetime, Stephen. I've had enough off you today. What's up with you? Look, I want a cup of tea. I don't want conversation, all right? Is it, Mummy? You're proving over here, eh? Right, I'm away. Hey, 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 hang on. Look, I want a cup of tea. I want a jam donut, and I want to read my paper. I don't want conversation. All right. A cup of tea and a jam donut for him. Right. What time will you be back? 
when it's over. Well, listen, don't you be hanging around scoffing sausage rolls and ham sandwiches. Alec, it's a funeral. Somebody's died. Somebody's shuffled off their mortal coil. They might have just left some sad people that might need to talk. Never mind talking. We've got a pub to run. You do realise I'll be coping on my own this lunchtime because this funeral involves three of my staff. No, one of your staff, two of your partners. Yes, well, you get me drift. Yes, and it just happens to be one of your staff's husband. Yes, I know, and I'm very sorry for her. But the fact remains she has to go and you have to tell her. Not today, I think, Alec. Why not? Today's as good as any. I'll be doing her a favour. I mean, no doubt she'll be re-evaluating her life in the light of Billy's demise. I'm sure she won't want to spend her remaining days working her fingers to the bone in here. There you go, that should be right. I'll see you later on. Billy! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, ah. sis. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? I wasn't expecting you till tomorrow. I've got some business in Chorlton, so I thought I'd pop in, see how things are. I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> uh, hang on a minute. You are coming tomorrow, aren't you? Of course. Oh, right. I just thought then you turning up like this. Not coming and stuff. Look, Fiona, I won't mess about. Um, I'm sure in his own way Alan loves you. But... Lee, I am getting married tomorrow, all right? This isn't the time. I just hope you know what you're taking on. Yeah, I'm taking on a man who I love very much. A man who loves me very much. And his job. Mm -hmm. He loves his job very much. Have you considered what it's going to be like married to a policeman? Yeah. Late nights, missed meals, drink sessions with the boys. Police are a high-risk category in the divorce stakes. Divorce? We haven't even got married yet, Lee. Look, if this is the way that you think, then don't really bother coming tomorrow, OK? Because I love Alan, and Alan loves me. We are getting married, full stop. OK, OK, I believe you. I just had to check, like I said, for my own peace of mind. I hope you're very happy. All right, <laughs> thank you. Hey! That is my future wife you're manhandling. And you better take good care of her. Hey, I will, mate. The best, don't you worry about that. What's all this, then? Got a job, just stop by. Cool. Oh, right, are you, are you going back up home tonight, then? No, I've brought my stuff with me. Uh, booked into Excelsior for the night. Are you? Mm-hmm. Alan's having his stag do at the Excelsior tonight, aren't you? Yes, I've tried, I am. Uh, stag night, eh? Listen, um, why don't you come? Oh, Come and join Lee. the fun. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. OK. Right, well, it starts at uh, 8 o'clock in the bar, all right? OK, I'll see you there. Uh, and I'll see you later. All right. See you later. Ah, two pints, is it? I'll make mine a coke and ham sandwich and chips time. Uh, no chips today. Hey? Uh, well, I haven't time to be fuffing about with sandwiches either, unless you can see any on display. Pies only today. All right, what's up? You gone on strike or something? You must know, they're all at Billy Williams' funeral. Oh, right. Well, sorry, I'll have a, have a pork pie then. Yeah, make that too. Hey, up. <laughs> on second thoughts, forget the pie. I'll fancy something, I'm not careful. Why? That ain't not hot enough for you. <laughs> I'll go get some fish and chips. Yeah, hang on. Did something happen last night or something? Nothing. Well, I thought she fancied did you? Well, maybe she does. Well, get stuck in. It's a cracking looking bird. She's okay. Come on, grab me a drink and smile, eh? Five minutes, Kev. Do you think it's a good idea? Oh, it was going to be great. Unless she said she didn't want one. I'd be surprised. That's the old point. Anyway, I've told everybody I've seen today. Can't go back on my word. And I've found Alec. It's going to be great. Uh, there. One pie. Oh, here's Alec. Sure you don't want one? No, I think not. Fred Elliott. Yeah? Well, that could be the reason. <laughs> <laughs> hey, these are seriously good pies, you know. You should have one. <laughs> yeah, I think it's about time we... Went and got my fish and chips, eh? You're not leaving. Well, I never know, don't I? Look, I'm your boss, and I'm saying you can have a bit of an extra long lunch break today. No, mate, it'll be a kiss. Best be off. See ya. Sally! Sal! What's wrong? I saw you come in the pub. It's not what you think, you know. What? Lorraine, she's Natalie's niece. They're matchmaking. Look, Chris, you don't have to explain anything to me. You're a free agent. It's only natural you want to go out with somebody your own age. I don't want to go out with anyone my own age. I want to go out with you. She's a good-looking girl. Why don't you fancy her? Because I fancy you. <sighs> a middle-aged woman with a couple of kids. You're not middle-aged. You're young, and the kids aren't a problem. I love the kids. Chris, I like you. You're really sweet. You're a lovely girl. 
I'm not ready to jump into another serious relationship. What are you trying to say? You don't want to be with me? No, I'm just saying that I have to be really careful. Well, you wouldn't come out of the rovers if you didn't care. Okay, yeah, I was jealous. And you see? But we have to play it cool, take our time. I like being with you, Chris, and I don't want that to stop. But I don't want tying down. I'm not ready for that yet. And I don't think that you are either. <laughs> So you're back, then? Aye, ah, it's all over, aye. Yeah, aye. poor old Billy, eh? Yeah. Right, ladies, what are you having to drink? Oh, have a white wine, please, Jack. Right, yeah, right. I'll have a white wine and all, please. Oh, half is on mineral water. Yeah, yeah mineral water. water. Oh. Uh, so, uh, how's Betty? Well, Gordon's taking about to his place for a couple of weeks. Ah, it sounds like there should be a family around here. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if she doesn't move in with her, Gordon. You know, now Billy's gone. Oh, no, I don't think she'll do that. Why not? There's no left for around here, is there? What do you mean, no left for around here? All her friends around here, a job's here. Yeah, well, I'm sure Billy left her well provided for. Yeah, but she'll still want her independence. Yes, no, what I'm trying to say is that she'd be better off moving in with her Gordon, you know, somebody to look after her. What you mean is you're hoping she'll move back in with him? No, all I'm saying is I want what's best for Betty. Yeah, well, what Betty wants to know is that we can keep a job open until she gets back. And I've told her there's no problem in that direction. Isn't that right, Jack? Oh, no, that's, that's right, Vera. Right. In fact, I told her straight. I said, listen, while ever me and him's in the driving seat, you've got a job for life. Life? Yeah, that's right. Life. Closed. Just, uh, yeah, just a quick word before you throw me out. Steve, I've got nothing to say to you. I'm not here to cause trouble, Fiona. I just wanted to say that I hope tomorrow goes really well. And uh, I wish you luck. So. Hey, uh, I still love you. I've always loved you. What, whatever I've done, what, whatever mistakes I've made, whatever hurt I've caused you, I, uh, I always loved you. But you want somebody else, and um, I hope you're both very happy. That's all. Steve. Thanks. Ah, next one. Cheers. 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 Cheers, mate. Cheers, David. So. Tomorrow night, this time, ah. you will be an old married man. Mm, yes, I will be. Dinner on the table, early nights. Oh, yeah. Comfy slippers. <laughs> I think someone's got the wrong room. Actually, it's Fiona's brother. I invited him. All right, mate. I'm glad you could make it. Um, everybody, this is Lee. He's uh, Fiona's brother. Oh, wait a minute. Let me, yeah, let me get you a drink. Hey? Well, I'm just going to have one night and then I want to get back home. Yeah. Right, girls, what can I get you? Uh, cider for me, please, Jack. Yeah. And Fee? Um, just an orange juice. Orange juice. Does it matter, matter? Steve McDonald <coughs> came round just after you left. What, did he give you our time? No, the contrary, he was really unnerving, actually. Oh, I wish I'd organised some up for tonight and I could do the bit more. Mm. Right, now then, girls, I've, I've run out of orange juice and I've got no cider left, so we'll have to. Uh... <laughs> What's this? Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Mac, can a fish swim? And has he got what he takes? Oh, yeah. He can be quite ruthless when he wants to be, our Alan. And ruthlessness is the key, is it? Hard work with a bit of luck as well. 
How long have you known Alan? It's been about three years. Still wet behind the ears when I first met him. He's done well since he came. Good nose. Doesn't let things go. Seems to love Fiona. First real serious girlfriend. So he wasn't a ladies' man then. Married to the job. But you have to be to get on in this game. Policing's like soldiering. It's easier all round if you're single. So you really didn't know? I didn't have a clue. <coughs> this one here arranged it all behind my back. Oh, you kind of did? Yeah, yeah, I'm really grateful. And I really mean that, Max. Oh! Oh, look. Hey, you'll have us all at it. Yeah, less of the crying and more of the drinking. You'll have time enough for that when you get married. <laughs> yeah, this is the last of fizzy stuff. Shall I open some else? How much have I got left in Kitty? No, no. We'll make them by their own after that one, right? All right. Hey, you go, girl. Hi. Hang <laughs> on. What's going on? Oh, it's Fiona's hen party. Oh, uh, oh, no, I don't want to get crash or anything. Oh, don't be daft, it's open now. See, I'll get you a drink. All right, thanks. What, red wine? Yeah, please. Liz, are you all right? Ah, yeah, I didn't know you were all going to be in here. I know, you did I tell her what's in. Look, are you coming to the wedding? Oh, uh, perhaps you better think about it. I know. Look, I might be a little bit giddy, but I am not drunk, all right? No. Right, don't you think we should ask Alan first? Alan? No, Alan's all right. I'll say to Alan. Look. Come on, right, I really know what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I do, I know what I'm saying, and I'm saying I want you to come. OK, right? well, thanks, I'd love to. Come, no problem, be there. <laughs> Is she inviting everybody? Not me. Not me? Well, maybe she meant it then. <laughs> I think you could say that. <laughs> Let's have a cold drink. Good idea. Not me. Want to rest my stomach. Uh, see, you want a cup of tea? Oh, I don't know. Let's have the last row started. I'm sorry if I've been a bit off for you, Stephen. You know, I've, I've a lot in my mind at the moment. Yeah, well, we all have, haven't we? Look, why don't we get cleaned up and I'll take you down the road for a beer, eh? Yeah, right. Little calves can't get out of this by itself. Little calves make only good eating for mountain lions. I'll get it. You boys stay with her. Leon, don't get that down oh, yet. All right, see, see you later. later. <laughs> Another orange juice. If I have any more orange juice, I'm going to turn into orange juice. Yeah. For that. I suppose it's all bit me see, though I know what I'm doing. Too true, my love. If I had met a fella like yours, I'd make sure I tucked him away nicely for a rainy day. <laughs> oh, what's that? Good night. Uh, yeah, let's go somewhere else. I can't do this. Dad, I'm going. Hey, look who's here. Yeah, we well, don't get too overexcited, Mum, I'm there. Steve? Well, don't you get back together? Oh, I don't know. Why not? I think that'd be great. It's not exactly what I call wedding bliss. Yeah, uh, be good for him there. One drink, just one little drink. No, you're all right. Scar's not out, I'm unfair. Well, that doesn't matter. Hey, listen, I haven't told you. Fiona's invited me to the wedding, so we can go together. Right, listen, I'm away on. No offence, you enjoy this. OK. Hey, is that Jim? Oh, yeah, yeah, but he's left. Girls only, you know. Oh, quite right, too. Come on, we need another drink. Here we go. <laughs> one pint and one sparkling mineral cheers, water. Cheers, cheers. Always drink mineral water, do you? Uh, not always. I have a glass of wine. What? Dangerous stuff, eh? They've go and see what food they're bringing out. Oh, Alan, uh, Alan tells me you're into computers. I sell them. Oh, must be yeah, profitable. I get by. Yeah. Nice car. Savile Row suits. Yeah, well, I don't spend all my money on a drink. Nice one. I like it. Yes. They go and get the food. Yes, yeah, okay. Don't let him get to you. He doesn't. He's just drunk. Yes, I know that. But he's all right, honestly. He's a, he's a man. So he's your best man, is he? Right, I think I'm from your bed. What, you can't go yet? We've only just got going. I'm really, really afraid to. Well, thanks for coming. Thanks for inviting me. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, big day for both of you.
Mind if I have one of them? Help yourself. Never thought it would happen. No. It's hard, isn't it? I love Fiona. I've always loved Fiona. Oh, yes, of course you have, yeah. That's why you left Fiona for Victoria. Vicky was a mistake. I think you'll find it was a very rewarding one financially, yes? Look, I've said I was wrong. Just because I married Vicky doesn't mean I still didn't love Fiona. No, oh, <laughs> love, eh? That's rich coming from you. What do you know about love, Stephen, eh? What? What do you know about love? You haven't got a loving bone in your body, so you haven't. The only person you've ever cared about from day one is number one. Well, that's very rich coming from a fellow that left his wife in a lay-by just after he'd slapped around the head. Hey, now you just behave yourself, sunshine. I know what I did was wrong and I'm not proud of it, but I was angry and I was jealous. I didn't do it for profit. No, you did it because you could never keep your fish to yourself. Well, I didn't do it for money. And you didn't do it out of love either. You say, I haven't got a loving bone in my body. Well, I'm your son. I am what you made me. Oh, is that what you think? That's what I know. You're going to tell me I'm wrong? Yes, I'm telling you you're wrong. So it's me mum. You try to tell me that no, you love me mum. No, no. I'm not telling you it's your mother. No, I'm not telling you at all. Well, who else is there? Who I'm else? I'm telling you. It's Fiona. Fiona? Yes, Fiona. Oh, yes, Stephen. I know you find that absolutely extraordinary, don't you? Someone would fancy the likes of me. Well, you're wrong, sunshine, because you did. Fiona, you, in your dreams, yes. Fiona. Yes. Very good, Stephen. In my dreams. Because that's just about all I've got left of that wee girl. In my dreams. You lie. No, Stephen, I'm not lying. Shall I tell you what happened? When Alan left her, she came to me. What for? What for? She came to me for comfort. What do you mean, comfort? Are you trying to tell me you've slept with Fiona? I'm trying to tell you that I'm in love with Fiona. You have slept with Fiona? This is none of your business, but Stephen. But you did, didn't you? You've slept with Fiona, haven't you? Yes! Yes! You! 